What's more fun for you, mm -hmm. Young? Acting mm -hmm. or directing? Um, I like, well, fun, acting's fun. Okay. Because it's easy compared to directing or writing. Because you get to go to somebody else's set and play, and then they have play. to worry about finishing it. <laughs> But I, I do enjoy, for my life, I find writing and directing more fulfilling, being a storyteller. Uh, what's big is the challenge to do the new The Mandalorian season? It, it's, um, it's actually uh, pretty fun because the audience is anticipating what's coming next. Mm -hmm. And so it's like um, they already like the characters. They already know the world. Okay. And so we get to play in that world now and see if we could tell a story that fulfills expectations but also surprises people. It's a lot easier than when you make a movie and you have to introduce an audience to this new movie for the first time. Here we already have a relationship. People are coming to see the show because they like it. And so we get to continue that conversation with the audience. Siente el peso del fandom de Star Wars después de tres temporadas. We feel a lot of responsibility yeah. to the fans, right? And we feel a lot of responsibility to George Lucas too, because we know he's watching the show <laughs> and he he you know he created all of this. So We didn't create this world, we're inheriting it, and the fans know that world. And we have fans of different ages and fans that like different aspects of Star Wars. Okay. Some like Clone Wars more. Yeah. Younger people grew up with the prequels, older people Obi -Wan. with the original trilogies. Yeah. There's the sequels now. So we have fans from all different parts of it. And the challenge is how do you bring all of them together? Okay. Because all fans of Star Wars are welcome and we, you know, we embrace all of Star Wars and okay. try to uh, create one big fan group out of it. Which Star Wars rival mm -hmm. or character would you choose to fight in the ring like you did in Friends? I think Darth Maul. Darth probably. Maul? Yeah, I think so. With a double I'd, I'd lose. lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> I, if you, I think if you could get the lightsabers away from him, then it's just a lot of kicking. I could probably get out of the way of that. Okay. But I'm bigger than him, so... <laughs> yeah, it would though. be the most exciting one. I think it would sell the most tickets. Because okay. Darth Maul's the flashiest, I think, bad guy. Okay. Yeah. It's a good character. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite character. Really? Yeah. That was a good guess for yeah. me, huh? What do you think about the voice acting? I'm a voice actor uh, oh, really? in Spain. Do you do you heard uh, some Spanish version uh, of Mandalorian? Well, unfortunately for you, Pedro Pascal speaks pretty good Spanish. Yeah. Do you dub? This is the end. You want? Yeah. Uh, can you see the the classical line? Uh, uh -huh. This is the way. This is the way, right? In Spanish. What is it? Este es el camino. Este es el camino. Oh, that's pretty good. Can you see? Oh, 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 I have to do es, este el camino? Este es el camino. Es el camino? Este, este es, es el camino. Este es el camino. Ahí está. That's it? So good. Este so es el camino. I get two takes. <laughs> okay, good. it's, it's good. amazing. Thank you. Did you expect such a big success for Grogu's character? I knew people would be interested in, in, uh, in, in the baby. Okay. And, and I think part of why it was we, we were able to keep it a surprise, which was very hard. Mm -hmm. because it takes about a year to make toys. Mm -hmm. So Star Wars has always been about toys. So usually they like to have the toy ready for when the movie comes out or the show comes out. And we said, please don't, if we make the toy, people are going to know yeah. because that's where things leak. People see that they're making the toy and they figure out, oh, it's going to be in the show. So we didn't have tell anybody about it. Even when we had um, screenings of it, we would cover the baby oh, with, oh. with a black box. So even people at the studio didn't know. We knew it would be, you know, really exciting for people to discover this because everybody expected The Mandalorian just to be a show about a very violent uh, bounty hunter. And so when a little baby pops up at the end and they become a partners over the first three episodes, yeah. it changed what everybody thought of the show. And I think people knew that they didn't always know what to expect. Okay. So. I think it balances the show out in a good way. And always there's cute characters in Star yeah. Wars. For me, it was R2-D2, there's BB-8, yeah. there's Babu Frick. There's, that's always been part of George it. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks, yeah. <laughs> It's always been part of it. You have always had comic relief yeah. and also cute characters. Okay. So you have you know, scary characters, but really cute okay. ones too. I want to give you my personal sunglasses. Oh, thank you very much. Like your, yeah. yours? Uh, uh, They flip uh, up and down? Yeah. Flip. Oh, nice. So when it's sunny. Oh, good. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. It's a Cheers. pleasure. Pleasure It's talking a pleasure. to you.